There is my best friend, my partner, my sidekick, my love, my life. Can't believe that it's 10:30 p.m., 18 hours until the big day. Uh, unforgettable moment. As I stand here watching, looking at my future wife, smiling, smiling to myself. This is the beginning of the end. I'm so nervous, my heart is skipping beats with butterflies in my stomach, wanting to run. I am happy to have you, to be part of you, part of your life. Dear Sue, I can't believe in the next couple of hours we will be husband and wife. It's been one crazy week, but with your love and patience, we both will pull it through. I can't ask God for a better man like you. We've been through it all, the bads and the good, for worse or better. I promise to be a caring and loving wife, and I promise that I will always love you till death do us part. I can't wait to see my handsome groom. I love you, and let's have the best day of every day. Keeping you safe I climb every mountain And swim every ocean Just to be with you And fix what I've broken Cause I Every day I wake up next to an angel More beautiful than words could say They say what and what, what did they know? Cause years passed, I'm still here Dreams, did I think that this could happen to me? As I stand here before my woman, I can't fight back the tears in my We're gathered here on this beautiful day in the presence of God to celebrate the union between Julie and Sue in holy bonds of matrimony. If you all can bow your heads and pray with me at this time. Heavenly Father, we are honored to witness such a beautiful day. We pray for both Julie and Sue today that on this day they would celebrate a union and they would celebrate the faithfulness of you, God. And in your name we pray these things. Amen. Sue, the love of my life. First of all, I want to thank God for giving me such a wonderful man like you. He sure made me wait a very, very long time, but it's well worth it. You have done so much for us in the past years, especially so much the past week and even more today to make my dreams come true. And I know that you will do even more for our future. And that is why I love you, because I can trust you and I have faith in you. You're such a caring and thoughtful person, so please continue to be the same man that I'm going to marry today. Today is an amazing day, an unforgettable day, and I know we've both been super busy this week that we almost forgot to give each other kisses. And to be honest, I didn't even get to finish my vows. 
but I promise I will take care of you until we're old and wrinkly or even more wrinkled. I promise to love you always and forever and to never leave your side no matter what. I vow to make you happy. To make you laugh. To cherish you. And to protect you, to care, to encourage you, and to comfort you. To stay with you for all eternity. I vow my life forever yours and build my dreams around you. I promise to be the better, to be the person you can turn to on your good days and your bad days to the end of our time. Well guys, by the authority entrusted in me as a minister of the church and by the state, according to the ordinance of God, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now declare you, Sue and Julie, husband and wife. So we present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Sue. Right, let's celebrate with them. Oh, how could I be so lucky? I must have done something right, and I promise. of my life I'm Sandy I'm Julie's younger sister Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Well, um, okay. But anyways, I can't believe that my older sister is getting married today. Um, the day has finally come. The hunt is over. And thanks to my first D-Law, I'm forever free from her always third willy. Just kidding. <laughs> but that's the part I would miss the most. Is having her always wanted to tag along? With me, with me and Jerry, when we're like going on a date or something, and sometimes going out with without her wasn't normal because I was so used to going everywhere with her, and sometimes I would feel guilty not asking her or texting her I'm just kidding but I love you and I've always have because you are my sister I grew up with you you taught me to be responsible clean cook and especially standing up for myself I first met Sue when I was like probably like 9 or 10 so yeah his his my mom and aunt married his dad, so you know, we, we were like cousins. And we didn't know not much back then, but after times went by, you know, so we became like more like brothers, you know what I'm saying? Every, anything I did, he did. Anything he did, I did. You know, we tapped and tipped from the same bottle. We ate from the same plate, went through a lot of the same struggles, bro. We all had good times, man. Playing cops and robbers. Hanging out till the sun came out, <laughs> traveling places, and even jumping out of a plane, man. So, you know, <laughs> we did it, bro. <laughs> I mean, I could stand there and tell old stories all day long, but I'll say that for another day. But most importantly, we live to tell it, man. So, I'm happy for that. Right? But, you uh, know, there's gonna be plenty of new stories to tell. And I wanna wish nothing but the best for you two guys for many more years to come. And last but not least, we just gotta convert Julie to a Patriots fan, alright? <laughs> Go Patriots!